Welcome to Alpha Cars. My name is Dimitri, and today we're checking out uh, a typical Lexus Toyota Rust um, that luckily for this vehicle owner was caught in time. There was still quite a bit of it, but it caught in time. It didn't cause any structural damage. So let's check out where we are with this project right now. You're going to see a lot of... Uh, orangey detail on the underbody of course when we're done with it that's going to be covered up and this vehicle had the typical uh scaling rust and certainly a lot of it you can see um that we cleaned it off and this is probably our final pass and you can see a lot of it it's situated here it was a lot more than when we started cleaning this underbody so this is a very important step. What we're doing, we have a variety of different products we use on different types of underbody conditions. The first thing, of course, we do, we uh, remove any loose rust. Once we've done that, we determine which product would be used next. And for this vehicle, we're using uh, the rust penetrating primer. It's a very interesting product, very, very effective. We've been using it for quite a while and we've done a lot of tests on rusty parts that we threw uh, out, out in the open on elements for months, even years, and we watched uh, the product perform and we were very impressed with it, so we continue using it. And it's a great application on this vehicle, so we will certainly uh, show you how it looks when we're done but in the meantime we're just going to show you progress of this work and as you can see uh, we applied this uh, rust penetrating primer to a majority of the surfaces that have open rust and of course it's the end of the day the technician left for the day so there are still you're going to see some area areas where it hasn't been applied yet but it will be applied uh, tomorrow and then we'll continue with the rest of the protective uh, coating. I love doing these videos because in the course of a few minutes you can show the scope of work that it takes days to do. As you can see uh, you don't see much of the orange uh, stuff anymore. You can see a little bit through because what we've done, we applied uh, a black primer because after that, we'll be applying protective coating and we don't want that orangey uh, shade to show through. So we did refinish uh, the knuckles with the uh, primer and the I, I called it uh, penetrating uh, primer rust penetrating primer but it's actually two in one rust penetrating and rust converting primer we as I said we've been using it uh, for a while and it delivers amazing results so you can see the underbody now looks kind of black you can still see a little bit of that primer showing through, which is okay, because we will be using a black protective coating. And I'll show you that. You'll see it in just a few minutes. We're still working on it. There are a couple of uh, touch-ups we're gonna do on the shock absorber caps. And you can see on one of them, the rust already did its job. You can see it actually ate through the metal. The shock is okay, but that's just a good indication. You can see how much damage rust will do. Not, not only it can do, it will do. There's no uh, if here. But again, this vehicle, you give it another year or two, and it would be some serious damage. So we're putting literally finishing touches on the Lexus. And this is the Lexus LX570, so it's a big one. But regardless how big or small, all these cars rust. And for them not to rust, you have to do 
uh, rust preventive treatments, uh, preferably right on the brand new vehicle. But if you haven't done it on a brand new vehicle, definitely catch it in time. And as I said before, this vehicle is a good, really good example. So right now, when I say we put finishing touches, we did a full product application. So that's a, a blacked out fluid film that we applied over the, um, to, uh, over the uh, rust penetrating rust converter primer and you've seen it in this video. So now on top of that, we applied fluid film product, which is, it's kind of pretty because it's all black, but also it does not dry hard. It stays penetrating and it really goes into all the, all the cavities and all the pores. And most importantly, once it's there, it repels water and that's what we want. So you can see it's been applied throughout and you can see a little bit of um, rust converting primer, that orangey stuff that is showing through. And that's what we're doing right now. Um, Joe has the same uh, powerful light as I do and he is just touching up all those areas. And that is a very important step because as you can see, there are little spots here and there. We're gonna hit them all and then we will have the best coverage. And as he does, as he does that, we're also spraying it inside all the enclosed areas, including the control arms, rocker panels, uh, frame rails, rocker panels, and so forth. As you can see over here, much better coverage here. And uh, you can see pretty much all the internal uh, components all covered. So this vehicle is definitely ready for New England winter. But once you do this treatment, don't forget to uh, definitely make sure we have an opportunity or someone does annual inspection and uh, some touch up because the product is going to get uh, washed off in some areas or uh, there may be some areas where the rust may be showing through. So you still need to uh, keep checking and maintaining the underbody, which does not include a, a checking and maintaining exterior paint. That's a different, completely different ball game. And thank you, our viewers, for viewing this video. Please consider sharing, subscribing, and let us know which videos you like the best by simply clicking the like button. My name is Dimitri, and until next time.